this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm here to show you how to overclock your Intel 14th gen CPU. In this case, the i9-14900K, but this may well work with other CPUs in the future. Now, you would need to download the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, which I'll link to in the description. But with XTU downloaded and installed, you can then basically overclock your CPU with just a few clicks. You will need to restart your computer once it's installed, though. Once that's done, open up XTU and be sure to read through the various different pop-ups. And then you should see this screen where you can either click on Automatic Overclock or you can go to the advanced view. Now, when you're in the advanced view, you'll notice in the top left corner, there is an AI assist option. This makes life really easy because it basically runs a test on your system to check your components and work out the best overclocking for it. So all you've got to do is click on characterize and then wait while the system runs through some testing. Now it won't take very long. And once it's done, essentially what it will do is recommend some various different overclocking settings that can be applied automatically to your system. You can look through these settings in here and see what's being changed and then just simply click apply at the bottom. This will then overclock your CPU for increased performance but maintaining a good stable test. Now one thing I would recommend however is doing a stress test on your system watch out for thermal throttling. It may well be the case that your system thermal throttles both before and after the overclocking and this could then reduce the overall performance. So it is something to test for and to bear in mind. You can see this stress test within XTU will let you know if your system is thermal throttling and that's obviously not ideal. Thermal throttling can also be identified with other tools such as Cinebench Hardware Monitor or Hardware Info 64. Run some benchmarking and then you might see that your CPU cores are running at a particularly high temperature. This can indicate thermal throttling. Now, thermal throttling can be down to a number of different things, including improper fan config in your system. For example, if you've got too many exhaust fans and not enough intake fans, that can be a problem, but one that's easy to fix by just changing some of the fan logic in your system. So that's worth bearing in mind. The other reasons that it might occur is because you've not mounted your CPU cooler properly or your thermal paste application just needs some enhancement and there may well be some tweaks that you can do to that. I'm going to do a separate video on thermal throttling, but hopefully you found this insight into AI overclocking useful. Subscribe if you have and come back for more. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.